Okay, hey you guys, it's your girl, the Empress 917, and I'm coming to you with another one. You already know Spirit is in the building. Okay, so we did a, a conversation about what DM was saying to his friends, okay, and how the friends were reacting. We're going to do one with the DF, okay? All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. DF. DF, what are you telling your friends? What are you telling your friends about the DM? What is the DF telling her friends about the DM? All right. All right. You already know spirit is in the building. Okay. DF, what are you telling your friends? You're, you're telling your friends, you know, I think this person really wants to apologize to me. Or I, I or this person has come to me with an apology, okay? Um, this person is really going through some things in their life. And they're apologizing now because everything is coming into full circle. And now, <clears throat> I think this person wants a new passionate beginning. That's what you're telling your friends. He apologized. And I think that you're telling your friends he apologized to me. And I think that he's changing his perspective. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's kind of iffy because I know he said this before, but it's like this time is different is what you're telling your friends. Yeah, he's communicating. He's telling me all news. And, he, you know, it's, it's like he's communicating about how going for something, you know, really he, he knows now that what he went for he got to put an ending to he got to put an ending to those ways you know what i'm saying it took him a long time to get here but i think he's starting to notice that i am the empress that i'm the one you know what i'm saying i think this person knows that i am the mother of his children i think he knows that i am the one that he's supposed to be with now yeah and i know that he is in his head still about reconciling with me because he has to get a third party out the way but I know he's been working hard too I know he's working hard on something I think he's working hard on ending something with somebody so he can come toward me you know I don't really I don't really know you know but I think he's leaving this time and I'm, I'm you know I'm trying not to put so much hope into it I'm really not trying to put not you know I'm just trying to go with the flow you know what I'm saying but I do think that this man wants to collaborate with me this time and I think it's going to be right when he does yeah I think he's taking a step he's he's stepping away from that energy those those um obsessive energies that he used to have on him I think he's coming out of that I think he's coming out of that black magic you know what I'm saying I think he really wants some things with me now and I don't I don't know you know if I can trust it yet because I he just came to me and told me out the blue and I don't really I don't understand how and why he keeps coming to me out the blue with it, but, you know, I, I think this is destiny. I think this is karma. I think he's received his karma um, um, in this in this happy home he thought he was going to have. I think he's receiving that karma, but I still think he's ready to take action, to take control of what he's ready to do now because he does have love for me. I think he does. I think he is in love with me. I think he's now listening to his intuition and stepping into his feminine side and understanding what's going on around him. You know, I think he is a wounded warrior, yeah. And I and he rushed in and he told me a lot, you know, and but I know it was his truth. But I know it's probably because he's ready to, yeah, he's been enlightened that he needs to go another road and he's ready to manifest this with me, you know. I do know he has a lot of conflict and confusion about somebody who keeps throwing him all kind of drama. People are in his way. People are just trying to stop him from doing what he's supposed to do, which is come toward me. But I, I got faith in God. You know what I'm saying? He's he's going through it with this queen of swords because she has a lot of people in their business. But I do think he's about to get ready to break some hearts around here because... I think he's about to separate, you know, yeah, he's about to move on. He's moving on, yeah, because somebody only cares about him for his money, yeah, he's moving on, 
yeah, he's moving on. Somebody keeps holding on to him, though. This Queen of Pentacles keeps trying to sell him illusions and things of that nature, but and trying to hold on to him, yeah, because of the investments that he's done. But he's recognizing that he's invested everything in somebody that, you know, is a burden. And he's also recognizing who his true lover is. This is nothing but God. Look at that angels balancing out things now. So he's getting ready to turn his back, and I do believe that I do believe he's ready. You know, he's about to turn his back on this situation that's having to do with, and this is the truth. He's just waiting on some things to come in for him. He's feeling that loss and regret because he can't commit to who he wants to. He can't really show his feelings right now, but he's very much so trying to be strong because he's going to show me some love. He's coming to me with his cup. I know he is. You know, I'm just trying to retreat because I know this new beginning is about to start a whole nother marriage. It's, it's, it's going to start a whole nother happy household for me. And I'm ready. Look, look what's behind it, y'all. Because we are soulmates. We belong together. This is my mate. I love this man. Yeah. He's leaving what, what he thought was a new beginning, what he wanted. He's leaving that behind. He's leaving it. He's just going, and I know it. Because he's he's going to get his justice. His wish fulfillment is here with me. I'm kind of still stuck in my head about how this new beginning, how how, how we're going to be stable together. Because I don't know. You know, I think that this person is trying to take him for what he has, you know. Because he did start a family over there. But I do believe everything is going to balance out. I do believe that because he's he's communicating with me fast about how he wants to leave. He's he's ready. He want to rebirth with me. He want to restart this thing with me. Because he's cutting off the secrets. He's cutting off the lies. He's cutting off the cheating. He's cutting off the, the people that are bringing him so much agony. He's cutting it off and he's standing up for himself. And I feel like this is going to be a victory after this missed opportunity that he had. You know what I'm saying? My intuition is telling me that he is still watching me. And he's just trying to juggle out some things. People lying around him that he's collaborating with right now. But he's ending that. He's ending the things from the past. And he's starting a new beginning with me. He's ending that cycle. Yeah. He's starting to block them off and go into solitude. He doesn't want this queen of wands anymore. He's blocking her off and going into solitude. Because it's over with for them. Okay. Alright. Let's see what the friends have to say. Let's see what the friends has to say. Now, DF you all in your feelings. Because... You feel like, okay, I, I hear what he's saying, but is it true this time? Is it is it really going to start this time? But he's never been this honest with me. So now I'm understanding that this man may be ending something. He may be ending something for real this time. And I'm, I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know where, where this is going to, you know, how this is going to pan out. Spirit said, just let it flow. Hard as it is, just keep letting it flow. Stay on your on your um, stay on your uh, throne. That's what Spirit said. What are the friends saying to the collective? What are the friends saying to the collective? I think you need to just rest, and and I I don't really think I think you need to go into hiding right now. You need to start, you know, healing from the past because I don't know. I don't know if this man really truly knows your your worth, you know. I don't know if this man really truly knows who you are. Yeah, you need to move on. Somebody, you got a friend that's telling you you need to move past that because this man breadcrumbed you and gave you nothing but um, burdens. And plus, this, you know what? He's selfish anyway. He giving his love to who he wants to. He, how do you know he's gonna come to you with the truth? That's what this person is saying to the friend. That's where the indecisive is coming from, you guys. Use your discernment. You know, check this friend out. Does this friend have a man? I'm just saying. Um, how's this friend in relationships? You know, sometimes you have to discern things. Use your discernment for yourself and shift the things out that needs to be shifted. Okay. Yeah. Because you are a great woman. I'm not going to even lie. 
and you don't deserve him. You need to defend. He doesn't deserve you. You need to defend yourself against this person. Be defensive. Block your heart off, okay? Because this man had you stuck in your mind a, a long time, and you sitting around here with any illusions and stuff, and, and he was hiding his feelings, and he went to go commit to somebody else, which made him have his own karma. Now he ready to come back and be with you after the fact that somebody, that he made a mistake. See, this friend doesn't understand the journey. He ain't doing nothing but lying to you. He got so many secrets. It's ridiculous. She's bringing you the drama. Okay? You need to just let him go and start over new, honey, and get you somebody else. Okay? Dude over there is watching you, and he really likes you, and you're going to sit around, and you're going to wait on somebody else. Yeah, I know you feel like he's the emperor or whatever. I know you feel like he got it going on or whatever. I know you love him or whatever. But this man lied to you about a whole collaboration that he was in with somebody else. Yeah, you said your intuition is telling you that he doesn't want to be there and he doesn't want to do this and that and other. But he just needs to chop it up as a missed opportunity, baby. And you need to go on and have you a good life and be successful without him. I know you love him. I know you love him, but he turned you. He, how many times he wounded you and you still holding on? Look, what you need to do is you need to... Um, these people that's on the internet watching you and, and want you and keep talking to you and stuff, you need to go ahead and have a passionate new beginning with them because they're stable, okay? This man has had you all in your head, uh, depressed and can't sleep about uh, people that he's been dealing with, okay? You just need to heal from that situation and balance yourself out and go ahead on and just manifest something new because I just feel like he just only apologizing because it's going wrong with her. Okay, and he's just gonna bring you all those confusions that he got that he's got with her, and now look, you gonna be heartbroken again. I just think you need to just stop talking to him, just just isolate yourself away from him, and step out there and do something new. You know what I'm saying? Get you somebody that's truthful from get go. Just turn your back, girl. Turn your back because I don't think he's gonna marry you. Oh wow. Because, you know, he, he just knows that you're your strength right now. And I just think that that's why he's ready to give you something right now. Because he knows you're about to leave. You're about to leave him alone. It's taking him so long to come to you with something. So long. And I'm just tired of you dealing with him. That's what the friend is saying. I know you be communicating with him. And you don't even tell me that you be communicating with him. I know you be talking to him and, and still, he ain't got nothing to give you. Spirit, tell me, should this person listen to this friend spirit? Should this person listen to this friend spirit? Should this person listen to the friend? Hold back from this friend, y'all. Hold back information from this friend. This is possibly a friend that you may even leave you need to leave alone because this friend is a little jealous because this person is coming to you coming back to you you know i feel like this friend doesn't really have many people or she she may date around or whatever but she's not wife material yeah because she juggles a lot and she's really at lost in regret because her life isn't going well see spirit of See, that's the unexpected tower. She's really at a loss in regret. Yeah. Ooh, Spirit said you may need to end this uh, communication with her, talking about your friend, your your DM, because only thing she's going to do is see him in this light, what he did to you, and what you told her he was doing to you. She's going to see him as a player, but this person has really ended this cycle and changed his ways, and she doesn't even know that. And you may miss out on your happy home and happy family. Look at that. And your happy lover that's willing to work hard for you. That's willing to give you some justice. You may miss out on that listening to this friend. Yeah, listening to this friend, you're going to be out in the cold, okay? And your divine masculine going to mess around and, 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 and choose another road messing with this friend. You're going to have to cut this friend out because this friend is a little selfish. This friend is a little selfish. She wants you to be hot girl with her. Mm-hmm. Because this spirit said this cup of love is coming in. Look at that. This person chooses you. This cup of love is coming in. And their friend, 
the friend has a, a negative energy on them. They are obsessed with you being single and living the hot girl life with them. But you're going to have a rebirth. And you're going to move forward from that friend. Okay? You're going to have a rebirth. And you're going to have to move forward from that friend. And you're going to take action soon. Because your intuition is telling you that. Okay? Alright, you guys. That's what I have for the DF conversation. With her friend. Let's, let's, get, let's get the pendulum action on this for one second. All right, here we go. Show me a yes. Show me a no. Spirit, tell me, should the DFs listen to this friend about the DM? Look at that. No. Is this friend jealous of the DF? Oh my God, yes. Should this DF stop telling this friend about her DM? Yes. Is this DM coming back stronger than ever and really want something with the DF? Look at that. Yes. Will the friend be upset that the, that the DF get with the DM? Look at that. Yes. Is the DM coming back in July wanting something with the DF? Look at that. Yes. All right. Now, just to make sure this is calibrated, am I wearing a green shirt? No. No. So, most definitely, you guys, listen to your intuition. Whatever your intuition is telling you about your DF listen to it because you don't need to listen to other people because at this given time other people are putting you in mental constraints not your DM I mean not your DM your DM is really coming to you and telling you the truth for a reason okay I love you guys stay strong and be mindful of these friends that they just mad because things are not going right in their love life. And it's your time to shine, okay? I love you.